spend some time um, as a senior hospitality team welcoming um, the newest staff member, uh, Miss De Plessy. That's right. <laughs> and um, so she's taking some of the senior classes. So we thought we'd just get to know you a little bit Good. Um, and ask you a couple of questions and maybe we'll learn something and maybe the students will learn something as well. Okay, let's go. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so what made you want to be a teacher? What made you want to be work in hospitality? Um, yeah, what made you want to come to Brisbane? Okay, we... Um, we love the idea of Australia. I'm a South African and immigrated a few years ago. Um, so that's why we're here in Brisbane. We love the bay sun and we love the weather. The weather is just beautiful in Queensland. So we like the outdoor lifestyle that goes with good weather. So um, that's why we chose Queensland and Brisbane. Um, teaching, always wanted to be a teacher. Um, and I've got a passion for food. Um, enjoy eating it, enjoy making it, and um, I love the energy in the kitchen. Um, that's what, why I have a passion for it. Yeah. yeah. So I combined my childhood dream with something that I love to do, mm. and I turned out to be a hospitality teacher. Nice. Yeah. So what are some of your favorite foods to cook, and what are some of your favorite foods to eat? Favorite foods to cook would be um, desserts, uh, because I love sweet stuff. Um, and so I like to explore with desserts. I like traditional desserts and then just to see what's in the pantry and make something lovely with that. Okay. Yeah. Nice. That's going to be good because baking and desserts are not my strength. So that's that, I think, yeah, good that's combination. Good. Yeah, <laughs> definitely. And out of cuisines of food, what would be some of your favourite oh. ones to eat and then maybe also to cook? Because sometimes they're not the same. No, they're not. It's definitely not for me. Um, I enjoy... Um, Asian food and Indian food, especially when I go out for dinner, mm -hmm. I would go to restaurants that's a bit more specialised where I can enjoy that cuisine because I don't always have all the ingredients yeah. with me mm -hmm. um, to get that great flavours that mm -hmm. they have in their food. Mm -hmm. So I do enjoy Asian and Indian food when I go out for dinner. Um, and to cook, I love Italian food just because it's so easy and flexible and do with so many things with mm -hmm. Italian flavors, yeah. and I love fresh flavors. I love herbs, and I love um, fresh ingredients and crispy mm. ingredients in my meals. So mm -hmm. I would always have a salad or mm -hmm. something to accommodate my food. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, if you're going out to dinner, what kind of things um, make you want to go to a restaurant? What make you want to go back to that restaurant? Um, like, what do you look for when what? you're going out? Um, whenever I go out for dinner, it's probably always or mostly for a special occasion. Mm -hmm. So it must be a treat, right? Yeah. And I want to feel special when I walk into a restaurant and I, the atmosphere that I get when I walk into a restaurant will tell me if I'm going to enjoy the evening or not. Mm -hmm. So it's very much the ambiance and the, the setup of the restaurant because yeah. when you walk in, it's the first thing, is it nice and clean? Mm -hmm. um, I like to go to their bathrooms if they have to see if, because if the bathroom's clean, I'm sure their kitchen's clean. So that's where I just check if the kitchen or the clean is going to the bathroom. And then just the treat of being to sit down and enjoy a good meal and then sharing that with people, mm -hmm. um, going out for dinner and sharing it with your loved ones is the whole experience about being treated and good conversation with good food. Yeah. yeah. Because hospitality is so much about um, not just eating by yourself, mm. eating with, yes. eating with, and sharing with sharing. people. Yeah, yeah, and being in the hospitality industry, it's about service mm. and about people and making people happy. Yeah. That's why we're there. Mm. So if I get, if I go to a restaurant and I walk out there happy, mm. um, it's a good thing. Yeah, yeah. that's that's yeah. what I go for. Yes, that's right. <laughs> yeah. So it sounds like you've got some experience in the industry. I do, you? I do. I've been teaching, well, I'm a qualified teacher. I've done my degree in hospitality studies. Um, okay. wow. And then I've done a, a teacher's degree mm -hmm. as an add on. Mm -hmm. um, and then I worked as a teacher and then I went into the industry a little bit. Um, for nine years, I used to sell wine. 
mm. and to restaurants and help them to set up their menus and food and wine pairing and um, wine tastings. So I've been in the industry a little bit. Right. Um, and then I've missed being a teacher. Yeah. So I said to my husband, I need to go back into teaching. So that's South, in South Africa? That's right. So they're yes. really famous for their wines. That's right. Um, what's the region? Uh, we are, well, Cape Town, and we've done, um, I've worked for a wine company called the Source of Wines in the Rossenville region. Right. Yeah. Oh, wow, that's really interesting. <laughs> we've got a really complementary skill set yeah. here for, for you guys. Yes. <laughs> um, oh, that's, yeah. Um, I have been ordering wine online during <laughs> lockdown. <laughs> Great. And um, from the Adelaide Hills region, oh, which has been beautiful. And all of the low intervention um, skin contact yes. wines, which I'm really into at the moment. Yes. So I'll have to give you the link. Thank you. That <laughs> Not would be you lovely. guys. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, other things that we're passionate about in hospitality here at Bayside is a lot of sustainability okay. practices. Um, so, so, you guys would know that we uh, recycle a fair bit. We try and recycle um, all different things. Um, the coffee shop recycles milk bottles, uh, caps to make into um, prosthetic limbs for, for children. Um, what kind of things do you um, like to do when you're cooking at home or just at home in terms of sustainability practice? Um, now that you've mentioned the milk cup limbs, um, my, I've got a son in grade two and we collect the bleeds um, yep. back clips yep. mm. because we apparently you can get some on a wheelchair if you have a million of those clips. Yes. So um, we do that and we've got our little container and he's got a few friends doing that with him, that's their thing. Um, and then I also recycle everything that I can as far as I can recycle and I like to reuse things, mm -hmm. um, reusable containers and And I, when I cook, I love to use, try to use the whole product. I don't want to waste food, so I um, plan sort of my recipes around what I've got, and then um, not necessarily just buying everything that I'm, I want right now, but more of what's available and what mm. I can do with what's in my fridge. Mm. Yeah. yeah. So sometimes I think we call that um, stalk to stem eating. Mm. That's right. Um, for for um, greens. Or vegetables or fruit, yes. um, and then nose to tail eating, I guess, mm. for, for, for meat, meat products. Meat products. Mm. Yeah. yeah, so trying to you know eat the whole thing. And yeah. um, a, South, a very popular South African dish is an oxtail mm -hmm. stew mm. type yes. of yeah. setup, and um, it's quite affordable. Mm. And once you get the hang of how to cook it, it's delicious in oh, itself. I mm. love and, oxtail. Yeah, I love so, how the Koreans do it. Do it. Slow cooked. That's right. Always, yeah. 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 And lovely flavours that you get out of that. So I think maybe what the kids would like to know <laughs> is, um, you know, how would you describe yourself as a teacher, as a classroom oh, teacher? As a classroom teacher. Mm. What What do you What are your expectations in the classroom and from my students? Yeah. Um. I the obvious one will be respect. So mm. I I respect my students and I'm very happy that I have a class and can work students in it because without a student I won't have a job mm. so I'm really grateful I see my students as my clients um, mm. in that sense so um, and I deliver a service for them mm -hmm. um, I'm really happy if everybody's doing their work and all that <laughs> and I know it's not always possible but um, I just like to have fun in mm. between there's, there's spaces where we need to be serious, mm. but um, learning can be fun. Mm. And I try to make it as fun as possible. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, that's yeah. good. Well, you'll fit in because we, we try and make it as fun. And we've got a fun group of kids too. Yeah. Good. They like a joke. As long as they open for the ideas of fun, yeah. I'll yeah. be happy. Yeah. yeah. Um, look, I think that's probably um, enough questions from us, but if you have any questions uh, for myself, Miss Danish or Miss Plessy, how about you email us um, so you can know our email or you can email us through uh, the digital diary and we can answer any more questions that you might have. That's See, lovely. See you Thank guys you. soon.